Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers of me, Cornish Knight. Now, we are just going to camp, speed up time, until it was the early dawn. Radio. Hop back into the settlement. I need tools, they're expensive. I don't like that, but hey ho. We've got to grab that, we've got to sell that axe. We are going to hire another person. How is everyone doing today, I should ask? Let's see, good minstrels will sing a song to inspire the men, play a flute to calm them or entertain them with poetry around the campfire. Loot is not a weapon, however, and minstrels are often not used to physical label and bloodshed. Cultists, I'm not sure if I want a cultist. Fishman, perhaps. Not, I don't want another flagellant. They're a bit unreliable. Ooh, a mason. Amazed by a regal structure of the church and the state, and, and the state Garnot fell in love with masonry. Unfortunately, his time as mason was short lived. A church he built collapsed, and out of its ruined rose a murderous mob looking for vengeance. Putting him down, he put on his hammer and chisel for a hammer and sharp and chisel called a sword. Garnot, Garnot now works the field as a mercenary. Well, let's take him. Not bad. Give him that. Actually, yeah, we'll give him that. We'll give him that. He needs a hood. Before anything else, we need to give him a hood. Because I'm a firm believer in making sure that everyone has headgear of some type. So we'll take that. Give him that. Pop in there. We have tools. How much food? Six days. That should be okay. So let's take this contract. Let's go to Caravan to Norberg in the north. Accept the contract. How is everyone doing today? Um, I myself am doing very well. I'm doing... Um, this week we're doing uh, bat Battle Brothers and Fear the Awakening every day. Just want to p try and push that game along a bit. Um, if you, I suggest you look it up. It's a really good game, and they have a sequel in development as we speak. So, it is well worth the time and energy to invest. It's basically a turn-based like settlement builder with um, card-based combat mechanics. So it's a bit like poker. Your cards, which are your like your part, like your citizens in your village, all have distinct abilities, um, and it's turn-based. It's basically a bit like. D and D, but card-wise, it is really interesting. It's well worth the look up. Um, as I've mentioned previously, the game is coming along. Actually, I just remembered something. I need to name him. Good gracious me! Who should we call him? Let's call him Hill. Hill the second. There we go. So that's now Hill. So where are we going exactly? We're going there. That's not too bad. We'll get some pay in our bellies. And then we'll look around. I think the secret with this particular map is to take more level 2 contracts. Everyone's been shouting at me at me in the comment section to do it. I was just really nervous because at the moment I think the questing system in the game is still a little unbalanced. They, they did mention, because this is still basically a beta, they did mention that some of the stuff is still really unbalanced. So, you can't blame me for being nervous. Norberg greets you with a swarm of daytellers looking for work. The caravan leader doles out crowns to men here and there, with grubby hands going to the carts to unload the cargo. When he's finished with a throng of men, the leader turns to you, he's got a satchel in hand. This is for you, mercenary. You take it, a few daytellers watch the exchange of, of monies with, like, cats with a dangling mouse. Basically, daytellers, for those of you who don't know, is. They existed up until relatively recently, which was that um, they were people that worked. I suppose you could call them like freelancers. Was which was that they um, worked for a day's pay, and so you would turn up like I need people to help me unload this ship or unload this um, train or something like that, and literally they would go about and do it. It means that the employers don't have to fork out um, a constant wage to people. Right, can't do anything there, that's basically locked. Oh, I so want that hawk. Oh, falcon, technically. 
Is there anything cheap here that we can buy? Ooh, that armor's nice. I might grab it. Because I need to be getting my guys in better gear. What are they armored, armored with? Yeah. I need to stop upgrading my people, really. Even if it does eat into my pay packet. So we've got to grab those two. Give him that. Give him that. Give him that. So we have a sur we're starting to get a little surplus of gear, which is good. Um throw away that, throw away that. Is there someone else that I can grab here cheaply? Ooh. Grave diggers are used to physical labour and handling the dead. He might be useful. Brawler. Brawlers are unmatched and on on combat. Physical XN tends to leave them in good shape. Grab him, he's cheap. But he's probably going to have lungs. Actually, no, he's not bad. I mean, he's not fantastic. I've seen better. But he will do the job. Give him a spear. We shall call him. Ooh, let's see. So we call him Trenton. Do we have Trenton on back on the list? Do we have Fiasco? A fiasco's there. I really need some more names. I'd really like it if people basically um, gave put some more names in the in the comment section for us to basically use. How are we told about? Let's call him. Vermin. There we go. Actually, let's call him Kid Vermin. Kid Vermin. He needs a hood because I don't like sending my people out without actually having headgear on. Yeah, now I need basic. I need to basically start making some cash. Food is okay for a little bit. Right, I've got... Let's see if he's got a contract. Hopefully... They do. Level 3. Not worth it. I'm going to be trying to do more level 2 contracts now, but I'm still not going to do level 3 at this level, it's pointless. No matter what people say to me. We need to get some money in our pet purses. At the moment, basically, from some of the people I've been talking to, they say that the, um, the ambitions to roster 12 men, the ambitions... Um, the hardest one to do, effectively, at the moment, is the Noble Houses one, because Noble Houses, by uh, by design, I think it is, have historically always given poor rewards. Um, poor rewards. Ooh, here we go, level one. I'm all ears. You're going to talk, take a seat. Ergen, no, for us, scroll at you. Traders from Tenga having all greed, no longer patronizes until a little brigand problem is done with. How many crimes are we taking? Need more pay, okay. Accept. Alright, so he's down there. Let's go. Do we have the food? Yeah, we have the food. That's the thing you have to be careful of to make sure that you have enough food to cut there and back. Um, so I know I should probably read this. I am going to. I tend to just. Because it takes like time to read all the dialogue stuff in this game. I will do more of it though. Brigand Hunters, some Raiders, and some Fugs. That isn't fantastic, but...
we should be okay. Hopefully, he says nervously. Crosses his fingers and touches some wood. Afternoon, let's do it. Some brigands and some thugs. If we focus down the thugs, the, br the braiders should break. Oh boy, this is not good. We need to pull back to a more defensible area. Okay. Make a concave shape here so they have to fight through difficult terrain to get to us. That's probably our best bet. Fall back. So what are we looking at raider-wise? Three raiders. I mean... My priority is to make sure that I can fall back effectively. Uh, that's not great. Hopefully even just going through this mud will slow them down, so... This isn't a particularly fantastic place to fight. I'd rather fight back here if I can get to this spot. This is tough. We're going to have to play seriously carefully now. Get there. I would prefer not to have to fight them here on this nice ground, but the problem is at the moment I am really not in a good position. What I'm probably going to do is put a couple of people here to choke off this area. But yeah, put a couple of people here to choke off this area. We'll make a concave shape here so anybody coming in has to basically take multiple people at once and we'll have our archers back here and hopefully it'll keep most of them into in the goop which is what I'm what I'm really wanting to happen. murdering my stamina to do it. Can we hit anyone? No. Okay. I really need my archers to move first. How long until he moves? Hold off. He's fine where he is. The, ar the archers need to jump back a bit further. Tactics, 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 people. Right. Well, let's for a start, let's start setting up our concave shape up here. We'll put a couple of people here, I think. Get him moved back one. 
actually he needs to be further back actually because what I need is I need to have a bloke here, a bloke here so he's got to go there Axeman can go here You can go here. You're fine where you are. You can go here. He's on Marsland, I don't like that. here for now. Right, start shooting people. I want him dead. Missed. Missed. Ah, oh, this isn't boding well. here in case they try and get around because they've, they've got to start to try and flank us in a minute which I'm not particularly happy with. If we put him here we can switch the bloke out and put him here. Yeah that would work. people in position. Get him there. Get him here. Shield wall him. Now the fun bit begins. time, reload. We'll start shooting people that actually matter. Hit him. Delay. Delay. Shield wall. Spear wall, I should say. Let's see what he does. Ooh, pierced his arm. Or was it leg? I've got, to, I've got to try and down, go down there, but I should... Ooh, there's a lot of them that I'm going down, going down there. Push comes to serve right. I'm going to quickly relocate one of my blokes down here to help. Okay. That was a bit of a pain. Catch that and catch their breaths. move up here and hold it, but they could try and outflank me in the muck. Because there's a lot of them and that's a narrow choke point. Jump down here, Sonny Jim. And we'll swing at him. Can't get through here. But we can... Ooh yeah! Cut his abdomen wide open. Nicely done, Asdaf. Chop him. Decapitation, one down. Reload. We missed, that's not fantastic. Being forced aside. 
Where's he going to go? That's the question. Okay. Push him back into the muck. We'll put shield wall back on. Let's start shooting at these guys, shall we? He's got to be a pain, he needs to be dealt with first. If I can hit anybody. Head hit. Ooh! Critical damage, and we cracked his skull open like a grape. Decapitation. Asdaf, you're just like lopping heads off. He just like st steps up, it's like, right, who's next? And like literally just decapitates the next guy. Like, look at the blood dripping off his axe. So he has to have the Fuax, you beast. Stab him. Ooh, pierced his lung. Morale is bad now. Get back into your muck. Savages. Ooh. Yeah, that's not great. Can't hit anybody. You can hit him. Missed. Could probably move someone to engage there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move someone here. Hold off. You want to throw spears? We still missed. That's not great. Shield wall. You should be able to hold a little bit. Killed him. Okay. We know that there's that bloke still running about in the muck. Now we've got these guys turned up, I really... Kill him. Ooh, beautiful. Never fight in, never fight in mucky water, it's not worth it. I wonder, can we start flanking these people? That'd probably be the smart thing to do. But he's probably trying to move around, if nothing else. Problem is I can't go there without the same fate befalling me, which isn't great. So I'm gonna jump back for a second to let this guy get in. Move him up here. Move him here. We missed. Right. This is gonna take an age, but I need to start sending people around the flank, these guys. Yeah, as I sort of thought they're gonna try and relocate. Could probably pull him back. It's not a massive issue. How did you miss that badly? Honestly, man. You gotta pull him back. He got himself shot. Isn't fantastic. Oh, heck, that's not good. I forgot. Uh, curses. I'm gonna have to go and shave him now. Oh, we can hold out for a turn and we shield Bass's way out. Great. Okay, let's try and even the odds, shall we? Problem is I can't get in there without getting my own guys coated in grime. 55, 3... Uh, there was always a gamble. Start shooting him in the back. Right, we broke him at least. Can we 
at him without hitting our own blokes. Yeah. Just turtle for now. Finish him off. his arm, cut up on his leg, he's in a bad state. Yeah, killed him. That's not fantastic, but... Kill him. We start moving up on the surround. Yeah, he's broken. One little injury, and that was my own fault. We got some really nice armor, some really nice weapons, actually. So he's in good shape. Start giving people some better gear. Right. So who leveled up? Asdaf leveled up. Nicely done, Asdaf. some more health. Uh, his That's not fantastic. Morale, perhaps. Stamina probably needs improving. Gifted. Executioner was very nice. I do like having that one. He's hurt, so he needs to be brought back. Male cap. I'll give it to him. He's hurt. Hmm. Let's go. Our uh, it's cut right into our supplies. No stuff from an so that's nice. I will read them a bit more often, I do apologise for that. I was just wanting to try, because I have a habit of getting into long fights, and if I spend a lot of time reading the descriptions too much, even though I love doing it, it will be unfortunate for us. No longer. Trade routes. Urgen of Nora grins as you enter his room and lays a sack, a sack, a sacked head on his desk. <laughs> you need not stay in your, my fineries so you've completed your task. So I've already got news of your success. The birds in these lands do travel faster than not. Your payment is in the corner. Is there anybody worth hiring here? Dayteller. Why not? Is he any good? He's really good. Superstitious. Club-footed. Okay. Do I want to have him as, an, as another bowman? Perhaps? Free bowman? Is that too much? I normally don't field free bowman as a rule. Um... I mean, for the moment, I might just add him in as an additional... Because what I like having is I like having spear, like melee weapon, spear, melee weapon, spear... Well, I like having spears on the sides. I mean, I could potentially take Fisco out of the running for a little bit to help him... No, he doesn't actually even need it. I haven't got another two-handed weapon user. I'd probably like to have another one of those, honestly. Um, well, let's give him this stuff for now, and we'll try and figure out, I mean, he's got some really good stats, I could make him another archer, but I haven't got any of the gear to give him. Ooh, what do you think I should do, guys? Um, he shall be called... 
Let's call him Indy. Do we have Indy? Mm, I don't know. We've got Panda. Let's call him Victor. Victor. I need some more names, people. Please give me some more names. Right here, Victor can join the masses. I might turn him into another archer. I normally don't run with three, but he has three stars. He... Uh, he's superstitious, which isn't great. Club-footed. Problem is, he's not great at moving. So it'd be better having somebody as an archer who stays back in suits, though. With that stat line, it's going to be a bit of a... some tools but we can sell some stuff off to get some of our money back Ooh. hand axe very nice we need to sell off some stuff Ooh, we've got amber not much point selling it here do we want some of a hand axe rather than a spear Let's give him a hand axe, because it means we can, uh, I don't know. It's one of these hard decisions, isn't it? Food's okay for now. Well, let's just, we got 20 men. Yes, there we go. Having finally gathered the coin equipment, you managed to assemble a full complement of 12 able fighters. When next you walk down Nora's main street, the men break into a full-throated marching saw, and a few of the townsfolk mutter under their breaths about dirty mercenaries taking over their town, but others walk alongside and shout words with you. Stand tall, brothers. People can see that this is a real mercenary company now, and not a handful of wandering vagabonds. The Furks, the bloody, declares, we, we trade in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, we sell, we sell will our prize, a price. It appears to, to have the right of it. You notice one particular fat noble sizing up the company as he already has a task in mind. The Kurno company is now a force to be reckoned with. Once the men have settled into a celebratory drinking, or perhaps you should take another stroll or through town and see if there's more lucrative contracts to be had. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links by the below. We are slightly low on funds, but I'm sure we can get some work somewhere. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.